headphones that translate X-Men goes horror, and porgs on porgs on porgs. This is your Looter News Live. How's it going, everybody? I'm your host, Josh Ball. It's Friday the 13th, super spoopy out there. And I wanna bring awareness to an event coming out of Wyoming. A man who was arrested for public intoxication said he was a time traveler from the year 2048 and he has dire news. And you know what I say? Let the guy speak. Let him speak. Because what's the worst that could happen? He's gonna let us know in 2048 that Overwatch is no longer a game that we no! can talk about. I know, ah! horrifying. No more, no more news on that. Horrifying. Let's get into this week's stories before something dire happens like Chris gets mad at us for talking about more Overwatch news. Speaking of Overwatch news, guess what we're gonna talk about? Last week, we asked you if you could tell us some Overwatch skins that you would like to see in this year's Halloween event, and if we would give somebody a prize if they were close to a skin that actually came out. And guess what? We have a winner, and her name is Tasha Ayakashi. She guessed Evil Zenyatta, and boom! Few things are as evil as Cthulhu cultists unless of course you are one and you're watching right now, in which case you're one of the good ones. Obviously, don't do anything horrible to me, please. Anyway, congrats to Tasha. A member of our team will be reaching out to you later today with a special Overwatch loot box code and happy Overwatching. All right, a new game in the Middle Earth series, Shadow of War came out this week and it's already been getting a lot of different reviews and hot takes from everyone on the internet. One of the biggest talking points of the game has been the orcs. And for many, it's just how goofy some of them are. From orcs that smash you with mandolins or hit you with some sweet love poems or orcs that have names like Garl the Drunk to Kumail Nanjiani voicing the Agonizer who is an orc who can never commit to threatening catchphrases. Yes, really, it's actually a thing of the game. All orcs aside, the game is super awesome. But we wanna know if you could give yourself an orc name, what would it be? Would you say Skak the Pickler, Goo Boo of the Spiders, Flog the Moaner, Balgor the Booger Eater, and only one of those is fake, by the way. All the rest of those, actually in the game. Give us your best orc name in the comments below, and we're gonna choose three answers at the end of today's live show to win gift cards to the Loot Vault. Now, we were gonna talk about how Kit Harrington pranked his fiance with a fake severed hag in the fridge, but that was until the trailer for the new mutants dropped this morning, and oh boy, it is super rad. Fox is going whole hog on X-Men spinoffs. The Gifted premiered this last week, Legion season two is hopefully returning soon. And now we've got our first look at the new mutants. A few months back, we talked about how director Josh Boone was gonna take the young mutants in a more terrifying direction, and he definitely did. Looks like the story is going to focus around Danny Moonstar and her powers, but we get glimpses of all the gang, Wolfsbane, Magic, Sunspot, who's in a dryer for some reason. Charlie Heaton from Stranger Things is creeping around his cannonball, and it's going to be interesting to see if Boone is able to mix the horror genre with an X-Men series, especially one so beloved by comic book fans. And now, on to the story that you've all been waiting for, headphones. One yeah. of, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 One of one of the ever evolving pieces of technology that we interact with every day, maybe multiple times a day. They offer great services such as being able to listen to things without disturbing people around you or being able to drown out people around you while you're listening to things. But now Google is taking it one step further. Google has launched its first pair of wireless headphones featuring real-time language translation from Google Translate. The Google Pixel Buds connect to an Android or Google Pixel smartphone, connecting to the voice-controlled Google Assistant to make phone calls, play music, or even understand other languages. The translation software allows users to both listen to and speak in foreign languages using their smartphone. For listening devices, holding down the earbud will translate another language into the user's chosen language. The earbuds, which are probably more comfortable to put in your ear than the Babelfish from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, will run you, will initially support 40 languages and it's gonna start at $159. For pre-orders, they're now in the US with a release date on November 22nd. So if you're planning on backpacking in Europe instead of going home for Thanksgiving, Google has you covered. And finally, the news that I have been waiting for, The Last Jedi. Woo! Yes. Yeah! 
We got a new trailer for the upcoming Star Wars movie and it did not disappoint. It's got so much of what we wanted and then some. It's got crystal caves, crystal foxes, or as our producer Chris likes to call them, ice pups, and more crystal clear look at Supreme Leader Snoke in the flesh. And crystal Pepsi. And crystal Pepsi as well. <laughs> I'm sure there's a Crystal Pepsi reference in there somewhere. We also get to see a very disturbed Luke Skywalker. He's looking all emotional, talking about scary stuff. It's definitely going to be a very emotional ride. Literally everyone in the trailer looks like they're going through something, and that something is pretty intense. Even the Porg. Don't you hurt a hair feather on his little head? Now, like the Porg thing, I was talking about this before, the porg, the porg just came out of nowhere, and I'm really expecting this to go to like Jar Jar level like ridiculousness. The Porgs and Jar Jar are secretly like the most powerful things in the universe. That's my theory. That's my theory. Anyway, the only thing I have left to say about Last Jedi is, guys, don't put out any more trailers. Save some of the surprise for us. Please, I'm begging you. At this point, I feel like I could just put all the trailers together, and then boom, I know the whole story to Last Jedi. Anyway, we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, Adam is going to be hitting me with some more Halloween trivia, and then later we're going to find out what your guys' orc names would be, and then we're giving out some of that free loot, so don't go away. Welcome to Wake and Bake with Kevin Andy, the show that takes cooking and makes it dandy. I'm Kev. And I'm Andy. What are we cooking today, sir? We're making fat stacks, man. Uh, Breakfasticus. This is not your grandmother's French toast. We're going to make the well of souls. <laughs> My kid was on that beach too, Martin. And you're going to kind of try to poop this out. This is the night. I'm <laughs> not doing it. What's well, even sadder is I close my eyes. The milk it does the body good, so not this milk. Hey kids, put on your safety goggles. Right here at Loot Crate Kitchen, heaven on earth. What, I'm not even lying for the cameras? That is good. It is Halloween time, which means horror movies. And with that, my good friend Adam. Hello. He's back with some horror movie trivia, specifically around horror movie sequels. Yes. Uh, this morning or this week, they announced that apparently Beetlejuice 2, uh, which had like some life about a year ago uh, and then has died, is now back on track to be uh, made. Uh, so they're going to make a Beetlejuice sequel. Um, so we're going to do bad. Uh, we're going to do. Michael, where Michael Keaton is king? What? He just is. Oh yeah. So we're gonna do oh. trivia about horror movie sequels. I'm gonna give you a horror movie sequel and you have to tell me if it's real or fake. But for you at home, uh, to win uh, stuff for the Loot Vault, uh, you have to answer this question. There was originally going to be a sequel to Beetlejuice in the early 90s. There was a script that was written and never produced or never made. What is the name of that Beetlejuice script? Full title of that script. How? It, do and people know that stuff? Kevin Smith has talked about it at length in many right, interviews. Fair uh, fair so fair name that Beetlejuice sequel that was going to be happening in 1993. Uh, cool. Now on to the trivia for you. Yay! And you're, not a, you're not a huge horror movie person. I uh, so I I dabble in some horror movies. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm not like. I actually did like a horror movie quiz thing this morning, and it was oh. like pick like out of these hundred horror movies, how many have you seen? And it was like the top 100 horror movies of all time, and I'd seen like 30 of them. Oh, so like, I like horror movies, but I don't think I like like the real deep cut. Well, these are these movies. are real trash. Uh, Fair so enough. You have to tell me these are real or fake. <laughs> Got it. Pumpkinhead 2, Blood Wings. That is true. That's that a is real, real. That is a real movie. I actually, real quick, me and my friends at home, we started a, a horror movie night called Pumpkinhead Night, where we would pick really preposterous horror movies and, and watch them and make fun of them, like Mystery Science Theater 3000 style. <laughs> so shout out to my pumpkinhead friends out there. Here we go. Psycho uh, 4, The Beginning. Uh, true? That is a real movie. Woo! There is a Psycho 4 that is the prequel to Norman Bates. Friday the 13th, Part 7, Jason Takes Manhattan. True. True. Real movie. That is a real movie. Uh, I, apparently I know horror movies. Boo. I think There we go. It starts ramping up now. Terrible, terrible film. The Howling 3, The Marsupials. No way. That's a real movie. Good. Where they the are, Marsupials? They are kangaroos in the movie. Ooh. Yeah, not werewolves. <sighs> kangaroos, which I don't know why it's called The Howling, because as far as I know, uh, kangaroos don't howl. It's called The, hop, the Hopping. So, here we go. Critters 5. Just desserts. I feel like there's a theme here. I'm gonna say true. Nope, fake. Dang it! There only somebody has a correction for you. What? Uh, Benjamin Sager says wrong. Uh, uh, Jason takes Manhattan as part eight. I don't oh. know Roman numerals. 
<laughs> that's a, that's what all that explains. Is I don't know what wrote. I saw a V and three lines. I was like, that's a five and a seven, I guess. So thank you, Sinker. I just don't know. Thank you for keeping us on our toes. I don't though. know what Roman numerals do. Oh, okay. oh fair enough. Oh, so he knows his stuff. Yeah. Uh, Return of the Living Dead, Rave to the Grave. No way. Real. Came out in 2005. <sighs> Is it like they're <laughs> like undead at a dance party? Uh, I don't know. I've never seen that one. Fair enough. Does it have a soundtrack that included My Chemical Romance? I hope so. Probably not. That's expensive. <laughs> From Dust Till Dawn 5, Vampire Outlaws. And, and five? The, and, the, and the V is part of the vampire, so that's a Roman numeral f I know Roman numeral V is five. I'm I know shocked that, that there are that many. That, yeah. That, is that a real? That's real. No, that's fake. Dang there it. Are four, <laughs> there are four from Dust Till Dawn movies, though. Or there's at least three. Gun. There's at least three. All right, last one. You really sold me with like the V and the vampires. You, I should be writing you these. You sold me the whole <laughs> way through. Last one. All right. American Psycho 2. That's it? That's, yeah, that's the title. I mean, there's a longer title with just American Psycho 2. Uh, true. Yep, starring, Mil away. starring Mila Kunis. What? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> wow. I feel like I did way better on that than I should have. I scored like a... Two, three, four out of eight. Four out of four eight. Out of so eight. for all of you keeping track at home, that's four slashes in Roman numerals. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to take one more no, break. No, it's a line, then a V. <laughs> oh, that's right. We're going to take one more break. When we come back, we're going to be talking about what your Shadow of War orc names would be. So stick around. You have made it this far. Like me, you came up through the ranks, through hard work and sheer determination. What you are transitioning into is unlike anything you have ever experienced before. We are sending you where other soldiers dare not tread. You will win. You will defeat the enemy. You will return, and you will do it all again tomorrow. Now, you are Spartans. Welcome to Fireteam Apollo. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, before we get to your orc names, we have a winner for the Beetlejuice sequel, and it goes out to Benjamin Sager, who's already been mentioned in the show. He apparently knows way more about horror movies than we do. He <laughs> says uh, the sequel is Beetlejuice Goes Hawaiian, which is true. Apparently, he was going to be the Kahuna he, Ghost. No, he was going to, the family, the Dietzes moved to Hawaii so the dad could open up a resort. And they build a resort on top of the great they're built, Kahuna. They were gonna, and then his ghost rises and people do sell to the family by winning a sword competition. If you heard any of that, that movie was going to be tremendous. Anyway, uh, at the top of the show, we then asked you what your Shadow of War orc names would be, and we have got your answers. First up, we've got Jennifer Gilbert, who says Brogtan Bloodaxe, which sounds way more real than any of the, like, the, the other ones in the game. <laughs> Um, Mark Castellon says, Cophicus the coffee drinker, dot, 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 of death. And then finally, Anthony Ayers says, Cog the dog. Uh, if we read one of your, <laughs> that, that, like, obviously Cophicus the drink, oh, coffee dog. drinker, but Cog the dog and Brogtan blood axe, I could actually see that happening. Anyway, if we read one of your answers, somebody from our team is going to reach out to you on Facebook, hooking you up to with a gift card to the Loot Vault. And if we didn't, or you're watching this later on YouTube, be sure to come back next week at 2 p.m. Pacific to join us live at facebook.com slash loot crate to have more chances at some free loot. And speaking of our YouTube channel, be sure to head over there to check out the latest theme video yeah. or maybe our geek cooking Watch series it. Wake and Bake with Kevin Smith and Annie McElfresh. Maybe you want to check out the recordings of Luda News Live because you want to see my handsome sweaty face a little bit more who it. knows and maybe while you're there smash that like button subscribe. smash that subscribe button and then you'll be Do the first team. to see the latest and greatest from our youtube Love channel because the stuff we do is awesome Anyways, uh, it's Friday the 13th. I feel like it's going to be a spooky weekend. So uh, take care of each other. Be safe out there. Don't get too spooky. And we'll see you next time for an all-new Luda News Live. Shaboy.